Raven's Puff 2. Daniel Daly was a wizard. He wasn't, a, wasn't exactly a fantastic wizard. But he had his skills and he was gradually learning the craft. He'd been sorted into Raven's Claw and had his adventures. And it didn't quite work out, so he got sorted into Hufflepuff and had his adventures. And it didn't quite work out. So the sorting how realized he was a hybrid and put him into Raven's Puff, also known as Raven Puff. Back there a bit, there'd been adventures with Lucy and others in London. And Danga recalled the, uh, the faithful encounters in, in Pittman Square and uh, the resolution of things. And one of the things he thought that life had adventure to it. Life had adventurer. Now, he wasn't a serious Raven's Puffer, because he wasn't that serious about the English schools of magic. He's more serious about his Monero community schools. Sort of the thing happening, happening with Shalandra May and Lucy Potter herself. And just that little area of things. There was a wizard up, up in the hills, Jeffrey, who we'd heard about. And uh, there were a f few things here and there. And I was more interested in potentially one day a Monero thing. Even though his loyalties were, were very much to Britain in many ways, that's where he resided when it came right down to it, in the Canberra Monero region. So that's where his main focus and energy ultimately he felt would go. But for now, he was in Ravenspath. And he would, he would take that Somewhat seriously. He'd be dedicated enough member of this tiny house, which was down a corner of Hogwarts and up a bend and a special door opened up and you know, went down into a small sort of Raven's Puff assembly where there were not terribly many alumni had been recorded for it was not exactly a major house. It was those hybrid bastard childs which were too proud and too bloody awkward to give a point of being in one of the standard things. They had to have their cake and eat it too, didn't they? That was Dangle's problem, he had to have his cake and eat it too. And even though you couldn't really, he damn well did his best too. There was another member of Raven's Puff. <sighs> a Potter child. As far as I can tell, you went back about ten generations to Potter's much further back, and this one linked up with the Harry sort of generation. They were distant Potterites, but technically a Potter as well. Technically from Merlin as well as far as I could understand. And he was a, he was a potter. Little Jeremiah Potter. And uh, he wasn't exactly uh, renowned for his prowess in magic either very much. He sort of had strange set small magical tasks and things. Little niche areas of basic magical tricks. Not really tricks, traditional magic indeed, but just little spells, which he, he had a bit of a, a bit of skill at, actually. Just some minor things, which he wasn't too bad at, like op opening locks and uh, <sighs> finding things and various things like that. Nothing terribly major in his magical prowess, indeed, but he was useful, and uh, he was he was good at being quiet. Was Jeremiah Potter, and sneaking around Hogwarts and not being noticed, and that was something about the uh, the hybrid houses. They weren't noticed terribly much. They were sort of on the edge of things, and no one paid them a huge amount of attention because they weren't the majors; they were the minors. But they got about and they did their things and got on with life. Dangle befriended Jeremiah Potter. And, uh, 
an adventure potentially was coming their way. Ravens Puff 2